Hello lovelies, it's G here with Golden Thread Tarot and I'm here to bring you another collective message. I want to say first, thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Hello lovelies, thank you so much. Thank you for joining the tribe. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the collective. I very much so appreciate you. Like it has been blowing my mind, it's wild. <laughs> so hello, I hope that I can deliver um, the most accurate um, and um, high vibrational messages for you possible. Um, just please remember you guys, um, just because you're part of my collective doesn't mean that every single video that I make will pertain to you or to your personal situations. So be careful with that, okay? Don't make every single video about you because it, it most likely is not about you, okay? And also be careful understanding that just because a part of a video resonates with you does not mean that the whole entire video will resonate with you, okay? So um, leave it for other people. If it doesn't quite jive with your story, don't make it fit, you know, and also, you know, just make sure that you're using these as kind of supplementary supplements to your own intuition. Always trust your own intuition, you know, always trust yourself, always go inside make sure that you are stealing your body, stealing your soul, stealing your mind so that you can go inside and reflect as to what's true for you, what rings true to you. Make sure that you're not listening to your ego, that you're listening to your higher self, you know, that you're tapped into a much he healed version of your higher self, okay? So always, always, always refer to yourself, always, 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 okay? So no matter what I say, you know, if, if you just get those gut feelings like something is for you, then it's for you. If you get the gut feeling that it's not quite right, or maybe this is not quite what you feel like, is driving, then that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay. So make sure that you're trusting yourself always. Okay. Um, just one second, you guys, sorry. All right. Sorry about that. I was just like, something just feels a little off about the energy and I was like, I forgot to put in my septum. So yeah, just got out of the shower. I'm feeling really good. So definitely for you guys, there is an energy here. Okay. That's being blocked from you guys. Okay. Somebody is definitely somebody, something. Oh, sorry. No, actually it's this way. Yeah. It's being spiritually blocked from you guys. You guys are putting up, your spirit guides are putting up a boundary, a big boundary in between you and somebody else. Okay. Definitely. Right. With here, how this is falling. Right. I have to turn it around. Oh, looking the queen of wands is wanting to show herself too. Hmm. Okay. So definitely like stepping into your own personal power and taking control. Right. But look, it's like this way. Sorry. <laughs> So this is how it's falling when I'm looking at it down on my table, right? Okay, so it's the Queen of Swords here putting a big block in between somebody, which is a mas masculine energy. It doesn't have to be, you know, but there's a big block, right? And the King and the King of Wands is somebody that gets up and comes forward and goes and does and goes and does what they're supposed to do, right? And so this person is definitely blocked, not only blocked, but their head is turned away from you, like they're being distracted by something else that's going on in their life right now, okay? So I have some um, some notes that I had that I got from here from my phone. Okay, so what I have here is someone is going to jail or is being forced into solitude, okay? Um, now they are unable to do spell work or talk shit or start or spread rumors or keep up a lie anymore. Somebody was keeping up some kind of lie and from the solitude, um, I, I don't know if it's solitude from money, if it's solitude from being able to have access to a particular person or have access, this person is just, it feels like this person is being forced to be completely by themselves right now or they're being forced away from something that used to give them power okay and this person is being forced away from that and lies and things that they were that they you know the mask are being removed about this person people are fine are kind of like lifting out of these people's illusions or they're lifting out of lies like because they're not around to keep these lies up people are starting to be like um actually i'm finding out things and the things that this person was saying really don't make sense they really don't bring about the truth okay so the truth is coming out you are and the and you are feeling better. And if you're feeling better, that's why, right? You're being, this is being blocked, okay? This is absolutely being blocked away from you. And look at this. It's falling under here. It's right here under this, okay? It's a queen of pentacles and then a king of pentacles, but the king of pentacles is in reverse, right? So whoever this person is, this ma this person that's in masculine energy, and you guys, the gender is fluid, right? This person is just operating in dark, is, is in dark or in low vibrational masculine energy, okay? And this person, I really feel like this person is experiencing a rather large loss of money. So while their, while their abundance is going down, your abundance is going up because they were, because event originally it was the other way around. This person was taking your abundance from you, okay? And so their abundance is being blocked. And while they 
right? And while on your side, you have the nine of cups. So you are fulfilled. You are having wish fulfillment. You are putting in that work. Okay. You are putting in that work. You are having your wish fulfillment. You are having abundance and everything is coming in, right? This person is losing that. This person is losing their independence. This person is losing their gifts. This person is not being able to do all the things that they were doing before. And it's like fraud. I'm hearing fraud. The fraud of who this person was is being shown to a lot of people because I feel like this person was wearing a fake mask. They were trying to purpose, uh, uh, you know, they were trying to persuade people that you, that they were right and you were wrong. And now people are really seeing the truth. Okay, exactly. The world card steer a hole on this person's side. A new cycle has begun for this person. And it's really a cycle of strife. Exactly. Thank you. And solitude, isolation. Exactly. Five of Pentacles, the hermit card. They were in competition and now that's what they wanted for you. Now they're the ones that are in competition. They're the ones whose sort of truth, whose lies are coming out and everybody's holding up their truth to their lie. And everybody's like, this isn't like the facts, the dates, the times they aren't working out, you know, like, nah, like, um, I don't think so player. Like this is not working out. Like what you said is false, right? Clearly what you said is false because what you said is not, it's not working out. It's not playing up. This person was in devil energy. Okay. This person was in devil energy spreading rise because they were trying to get a new, uh, trying to get a new beginning or trying to take a beginning from you. And now they're being held in place and they're going to get some really bad news. Okay. They've gotten some really bad news that is having them stagnant, held in place right now. Oh yeah. Look at spirit. Look at spirit talking already. Okay. And now this person's feeling isolated, alone, abandoned by themselves. Okay. Absolutely. Why you are feeling like you know, you're not feeling this competitive energy anymore. This person is being stopped and they're not being able to use their talents and their gifts the way that they were before. This person can't keep up the facade. They can't keep up the lies. Yes, exactly. Ten of cups in reverse. They are starting a new negative cycle, okay? And you are starting a cycle of fulfillment, a cycle of abundance, a cycle of wish fulfillment. You're getting jobs. You're getting opportunities. You're getting things, you know. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I said, I was just like, somebody is coming forward with some kind of offer for, for, to you, some kind of loving offer. Now, this doesn't mean that somebody's going to come forward and be like, I've always loved you and I want to be with you. Some of you, but for some of you, it's going to, there's going to, somebody has a message of love and abundance that they want to bring to you. And it's a king of cups here. Okay. A king of cups. Somebody is breaking their silence. Somebody is breaking their silence. Wow. Okay. But you are putting a block to this person. Okay. It doesn't fulfill you anymore or doesn't or never had. I don't think this person had the intentions to fulfill you. This person couldn't give you the wish fulfillment that I feel like you wanted from them. So, wow, spirit is already talking like massively about this. But let's figure out some more. OK. OK, I'm hearing I'm going to pull from the, I'm actually going to pull a couple of Oracle cards from the Lantern Oracle. So let's figure out what was hidden from you. OK, the key to intimacy. Yeah. I think that you wanted to be intimate with this person or you wanted to have some kind of, um, I don't know, for some reason, this is reminding me of the three of cups, women helping women, supporting women. There could have been somebody that was trying to, to, okay. So this is really weird. Um, I just heard Amber heard. So you guys know about the whole story with Amber heard, right? About her and Johnny Depp and all the things about how she was so involved in all the me too movement and all this. And then behind the scenes, she was actually an abuser, right? A little alleged abuser. Okay. But I feel like the courts have already decided that, but whatever, I'll say it. alleged abuser, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's what's happening here. Somebody that somebody that was some some truth about somebody, somebody that was just like, oh, yes, I'm for the community. Oh, yes, I am all spiritual love and light. And I am, you know, I'm supporting I am so down for supporting other people. It's come out that this person was was plotting, scheming, going behind, backstabbing, doing all this stuff. And like somebody's true self has been revealed. And on the other side of it, your creative power, power, right? That was being stolen from you is returning from you returning to you and it's helping you to birth like a new a new cycle for yourself into existence oh yeah what's being hidden what was hidden oh wow oh wow. okay 
So enough is right here on, on the cut, how it cut right there. Okay, definitely. Trusting tricksters. Look at that. Look how that fell. Trusting tricksters and support and women supporting women, right? This person was a trickster and they were they were living under the guise that they were actually supporting people while they were actually tearing them down. Enough. Uh, you were born enough. You were realizing that you were born enough, all right? Yes. And what did I just say? Melting mask, melting mask and accountability. Somebody's having to take accountability. Look at that. Somebody, what, somebody was throwing stones and then hiding their hands and being like, oh no, I wasn't the one saying that. I wasn't the one doing that. Okay. But the truth is coming out about this person. Okay. So let's see what came, what else came out here. Okay. So 35, um, presence of absence. Hold what is absent in the in the in the presence of your love. Wow, I'm getting a lot of messages out of that. Oh my goodness, holy crap! Perspective, yeah, thirty nine. A claim, a calm. There's some kind of claim. You've made some kind of claim on something. We'll explore that in a little bit. A calm and clear mind is free to, to see differently. Absolutely. And 42, home. May your body be where a harmonious, a harmonious, harmonious, Hermione. <laughs> I don't know why I felt that way. Harmonious balance of love, strength, light, and pleasure lives. Absolutely. This woman is just kind of like chilling in the baths, chilling in the spa. Maybe you need to take a bath and maybe you're just been enjoying kind of like giving yourself some spa time or some, you know, like just taking some baths and feeling really cleansed and feeling really nice. I did talk about, right, how I was like, mm, I just got out of the bath and I feel good and I do. I feel really, I love taking a bath. Um, you've been holding somebody present, really present in your mind and, the, and you're kind of been feeling like you're like, You've been alone, but you haven't been alone. Somebody has been watching over you. Look, see here. See how this person is like sitting alone at the table right here, right? And they're like looking at the pictures of the people. But look, there's just this picture behind her that's like looking over her shoulder. Definitely. So you've been feeling like you're alone, but you're not alone, honey, okay? Your spirit guides, um, you have like a very protective masculine energy um and i don't know if this is one of your spirit guys or if this is just like a person that's coming into contact it could be that king of cups sort of type energy that we were talking about that was presenting this love offer to you and that king of cups could definitely be rep could represent one of your spirit guys okay and they could be like i love you so much and i'm here and i've been protecting you don't ever feel like you're alone okay because you're not alone i've been here you're getting a different perspective on what exactly is happening here right you're kind of backing up and getting kind of like the bird's eye perspective seeing things from much more of like a divine perspective and it's making you feel a lot more at home inside of yourself right it's making you feel a lot more love strength life and pl pleasure okay which is awesome i'm so happy for you guys i'm also feeling like you've been feeling a lot more balanced okay i'm hearing one more so let's pull one more what else has my collective not been seeing okay okay exactly 19 accountability Exactly. So it definitely, okay, I just heard red hair. So red hair could be significant for you guys. Uh, responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and others. So exactly. So that who, whoever has been responsible for this is about to be highlighted to you. I feel like whoever is responsible for this, you're about to find out. And it's about, I feel like it's going to be shocking. But I feel like you're going to be like, okay, I finally know who is doing this. I finally know who is sending this negative energy or this kind of like evil eye sort of type, not really believing in me, lack, uh, lack of accountability, like somebody was trying to throw, right? And then also you're taking responsibility for your own actions and for your own choices, right? And you're, and you're understanding that just because other people don't believe in me or other people don't trust in me, I still have to do what I have to do. I still have to push myself forward and do what I'm supposed to do to write my own energy. Yeah, and on the back hair still, right? Again, with the red with the red hair, again, right? Definitely. Probably you can't really see it as much, but she still has red hair. It's not as vibrant here, but look, it's like the same color as like this fox. And normally I like I love foxes, but like there's this kind of trickster energy about this red-headed person. Mm. Yeah. Because your spirit guides have definitely been blocking this person. And so, exactly. Somebody's been blocking somebody from coming forward or for, like, taking your cup. 
Also, like again, with that home card, you've been giving this cup of love to yourself instead of extending it more to other people or extending it to people who don't deserve it. Exactly. You're finding more balance in yourself. This, whoever this person is, whoever, the, whoever this other person is, this person that's being locked away, that's being, um, that can't do what they were doing before, they are, they have been juggling, like living like a double life, like juggling, being one person on the surface and then being some, or being somebody completely else actually on the inside. And now people are starting to see them for who they really are. Okay. If some of you have been feeling lonely, don't, right? Like, I, I, I think I touched on that a little bit when I was looking at this. But if you've been feeling lonely, you don't need to feel lonely, okay? That's going to change, okay? The spirit is like, I'm sorry that you've been feeling kind of lonely, but they needed to isolate you away. They needed to isolate you away and send you a little bit more into hermit mode so that they could cut away some presences out of your life. There's some people, places, and things where you needed to kind of, like, be cut away a little bit for a little while. But that the lonely, if you were, if you've been feeling lonely, don't worry about it. Don't worry because that's going to change. That's really going to change. Whether or not it's like more time with your friends or your family or just, you just are going to start feeling a lot less lonely in general. Yeah, definitely. Again, right? There's this big putting up proper boundaries, learning how to, how to put up proper boundaries between you and somebody else. Exactly. Tower moment, some kind of relationship or two of cups moment has ended here or it was blocked. I feel like it was blocked. You could have blocked or turned away somebody. You could have turned down. Somebody could have uh, given you with this princess of pinnacles here. Somebody could have given you some kind of offer or given or been trying to. Yeah. The, somebody could have been offering you some kind of apology, but you were like, that's a fake ass apology and I don't need it and I don't want it. And I don't need your apology anyway. I've already forgiven you. I've already taken my power back from you. I was just talking to one of my friends about this last night. I was over at her house and me and her me and her and her husband were talking about it. And he and he was talking about really wanting to, you know, feeling like somebody in his life would never do the healing. So he felt like he couldn't heal. And I was like, that's not true. Take back your power from that person. Just because that person chooses not to heal, that does not at all take away from your ability to heal. It just, take back your power from that person, okay? You do not have to have closure for somebody else to heal. I know that it's a lot harder, but you do not need closure because as long as you're like, well, I can't let go of this or I can't move on, you are still giving power to that person, right? And most of the time, it's, it's, it's people that we want to take our power back from. Understand that you're just like, I don't need this apology. I'm not, you know, this is a burden. I'm holding on to burdens that's unnecessary. So let go of it, okay, you guys? Let go of it. I'm really, I had a, a note here, too, about an Ace of Pentacles. It keeps catching my eye. So an Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's definitely, that's the Ace of Pentacles right there that the, that the Princess of Pentacles is holding. But we'll talk about it. It's a King of Swords. So definitely somebody could be being honest with you. Somebody could be coming forward to finally be honest with you or to finally offer you some kind of a long-weighted apology, but you're just kind of like, I don't even really need your apology. Like, I already know what you did or I already, you know, you're, you're kind of having this, I've found peace without without needing you to feel, to, needing you to get that peace from, right? So what about perspective? We're going to talk about perspective. Yeah. You're seeing somebody in a new light or somebody is getting a new perspective. Somebody has been doing something and some kind of karma that they've been getting has been giving them a new perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. This person is, be, is uh, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, and then the Six of Wands in reverse. This person has been feeling a lot of pain, been feeling a lot of rest and solitude, having to go inside and been feeling a lot of, oh, I have to sit here. This person's been sitting on something. They've been lacking coming forward and presenting you with something. They've been lacking enough love in themselves or love in, in for you or for other people or respect for other people to come forward and present you with this healing, right? Present you with this sort of truth that's become healing. And because of that, they've been feeling lost ever since they know that they have what, that they have needed to come forward and present you with this. They've been feeling lost in their life. And it's really, it's really manifesting as loss of abundance in their life. I'm hearing it was stolen abundance anyway. It was, it was, the abundance was never theirs to be had in the first place. You might be really drawn to, uh, yes, 
because it's a four of wands, their household or their home, their relationship, something that they that they built their foundation on is falling apart and it's happening because of com competition. They put themselves in competition with you or they put yourself or they, they they it's because they have this like really sneaky competitive like I have to I have to always be on top. I have to always be winning. Um you guys might be really drawn to the um to this video um, the about the a, a karmic put out fake receipts on a divine masculine or a divine you know, like, like kind of like stolen identity um, reading that I put out so you guys check that out so I'm kind of getting that sort of type thing where it's like somebody was stealing your abundance or like faking being you or something like that and stealing something that was meant for you and now that person is having that taken away from them it could be some kind of relationship and this person has been because this is being taken away from them did this also too kind of look like a jail to you guys it looks like kind of like a jail cell it kind of does somebody has been given an opportunity to like really like have a different perspective because of the karma that they're dealing with wow home what about this home strength okay yes exactly and it says it right here on this card uh, may your body be where a harmonious balance of love strength light and pleasure lives exactly right So I feel like you're finding your own inner strength. I feel like you're finding your power and drawing it back into you, into yourself. Coming to the realization that you were giving your power and your strength away to somebody else. Yeah, somebody else that was lying on top of that, okay? And here's this King of Cups. This King of Cups, definitely this King of Cups is really coming out. Yeah, it's really coming off to me as like a spirit guide or somebody that's really been weighing heavily on this person that's been doing you wrong. And they have, this spirit guide's been coming and just having those 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 swords just boom 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 weighing that person down because of all these lies they've been telling or because of something that they've been holding back <sighs> seven of wands in reverse i'm hearing surprise like it's going to be a surprise to you I did say that, right? A shock and a surprise. I feel like how strong, how strong and how much power you're about to have and you're about to, to show the world or show yourself is going to surprise you. How much power and strength you're going to find inside of yourself is really going to surprise you. For some of you guys, there is also a person... So there's two different people. There's one person that's been lying and plotting and scheming and doing a bunch of like seven of swords, like like malice full seven of swords kind of energy. And then there's another person here that's been kind of doing a kind of light seven of swords energy just because they've been lying and they've not been coming forward to tell you how they truly feel about you. So it's coming up as the seven of swords energy because they've been sneaking or because they've been like, it's not like they're plotting and scheming to hurt you. They've been plotting and they've been like plotting and figure, trying to figure out a way that's most conducive is the word that I'm hearing to to a positive outcome for everybody involved is what I just heard. So we'll pull some more on that energy, but I feel like that's a different energy than what we're talking about right now. But that's also like lingering around in the background. What about this accountability? The devil card. Exactly. Somebody, somebody, okay, exactly, look at that. Somebody was dibbling and dabbling in devil energy, okay? Obsessive dev, devil energy trying to put off a negative, nasty energy onto you. And they're here, eight of swords, right? Did I not say this person was trapped? Exactly. They're, if they're not trapped in actual jail, they're being put in like some kind of spiritual jail or some kind of like karmic prison that they're being trapped inside of with all those swords around them with their hands tied and bound not being able to do and having to face the accountability for everything that they've done all the choices that they've made what did this person do spirit what is it that this person do that they're having to help that they're having to be held accountable for Knight of Pentacles. They slowed somebody down or slowed you down. Held back somebody from doing something. Yeah, they held back the sun, enlightenment from coming into your life, from happiness coming into your life. What else? Yeah, they held back your victory. They slowed you down and held back your abundance. Exactly. What did I just say? They held back your abundance. 
I knew it. And then look, yes, they held back your happiness. They held back enlightenment coming from you. They, they were hiding in the shadows and keeping that from coming from you, keeping your abundance, also keeping a love, a love from coming forward, like a love offer possibly. This could be a karmic energy holding back somebody, perhaps a divine masculine or, or a soulmate energy or something like that, holding back somebody from coming towards you. What else did this person do? I just heard casting. This person was casting out. They could have been casting out spell work. They, they could have just been trying to manifest. Um, I'm not sure. What are they trying to manifest? Yes, they were trying to manifest taking away a love offer from you and trying to get a Ten of Pentacles moment for themselves. Wow. Okay, I'm hearing what's their karma. So what's their karma? What's their karma for this person? Queen of Wands, your glow up. You glowing up. You being so uh, like abundant and attractive. Kind of showing out. Yeah, what did I just say? They got to sit back and watch Page of Page of Swords in reverse or Princess of Swords. They got to sit back and watch your glow up. They got to sit back and watch how beautiful and abundant you are. Look. Did I not say that? They're blocked and they can't come forward. They can't, they don't have the ability to come forward and come towards you. And because <laughs> they refuse to learn their lesson. Nine of Wands in reverse. They refuse to learn this lesson. What was that underneath here? Yeah, they were hiding. They were hiding and they refused to learn this lesson. So now they're blocked and they can't come forward. And they just got to sit back and watch. They got to sit back and watch you get everything that was taken away from you times 10 is what I'm hearing. Exactly. You're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving on to a new cycle and they're stuck. They're stuck in a loveless relationship. That's what I just heard for some of them. Yeah. And you're single and beautiful and abundant and like having all your wishes being fulfilled and everything. What's making them mad? Mm-hmm. Ooh, they were about to receive some bad news. And it's destined for this to happen. This could be a mit like a judgment. A judgment or like on some kind of court case or something like that could be not going in their favor. And they're about to receive some really bad news. And also, too, they misjudged the situation. They misjudged who you were supposed to be or, or what you were. For sure. I feel like they were they they had some help there. They were led astray, but at, in the end, they didn't take the time to go inside and trust their their intuition. Remember that high priestess in reverse. They didn't go inside and take the time to trust their intuition to really ask their spirit guides who you were or what what the purpose of you meet, of them meeting you or them being around you was supposed to be. And so they trick. They fell for the trick. Okay, when you don't know what you stand for. You'll fall for anything. That's what I just heard. When you don't know who you are and what you stand for, you will fall for anything. Mm -hmm. Look, and now they're feeling lost, turned away. They're being forced into hermit mode. They're being forced away. Exactly. They're being forced away to be in the, ab to be in the absence of this love. Because they lied. Because they lied. They lied. Turns down some kind of love offer with you or lied to get in order to get some kind of ten of pentacles. They lied and turned away some kind of true abundance and true happiness with you for money. Mm -hmm. Oh, that greed, it'll get you every time, boy. It'll get you every time. Now they don't see their future. Now all the things that they were promised are not coming in. Mm -hmm. They were promised a lot of things. Oh, yeah. You guys watch that. Um, if you haven't, watch the scammers getting scammed video. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not funny, but like. Yeah. Y'all watch that scammers getting scammed video because it, it reminds me a lot of this. Yeah, they're feeling so they're feeling broke. Right. They were trying to get the, the ten of pentacles, but now they're stuck here alone and isolated, only getting this five of pentacles or they had a ten of pentacles and they lost it all. Exactly. Look, now they're sneaky behavior. Now they're here stuck with all these burdens and this sneaky behavior. They can't do it. Whatever they were doing, whatever, however they were getting away with this is being taken away from them. And they can't lie and they can't lie and cheat and steal or however, however they were getting this abundance, it's being taken away from them now. And not only that, not only is the abundance being taken away from them. So every, everything that they already got is being taken away. Things are being balanced. Exactly. The energy is being balanced because they took something that did not belong to them. They took abundance that was not for them. 
or they took this abundance and shared it instead of sharing it with you they shared it with somebody else that it was not for oh come on yeah they were balancing two things six of pentacles again now things are being balanced out what was this that flew like halfway across the roof whoop they're manifesting. They're manifesting in. They were trying to, exactly like I was saying before, right? Some of them literally could have been using spell work or they could have just been using manifestation. Somebody stole some kind of manifestation. They stole it from you and now the balance is, you know, the balance is being restored. Okay? I just heard somebody say they can steal your energy, but that doesn't make it theirs. Exactly. <laughs> they can try to steal your energy. They can try to do it, but it doesn't make them, they can't be you because it wasn't for them. So everything they took will be returned. Plus... Plus more. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All the abundance, all the love there. That tower moment is baby, okay? Tower moment on that ass. You're a queen of wands. Surprise. Your glow up is there just like, I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe this. I chose wrong or I chose the wrong person. I can't believe it. I got bamboozled. I got tricked. Okay. And you're the one getting all the opportunities and getting everything that they, that they tried to take away from you. And their home, their house, their, this castle that they built is coming crumbling fucking down. Exactly. And you're getting a brand new beginning. Is that the tower? Look at that tower. They tried to hold on so tight to way the, the way that things were. But no, that's how we're still came through, baby. Uh-huh. And you're here. Beautifully manifesting in this brand new beginning. Yes, baby. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Exactly. Abundance, love, and light. A brand new fucking beginning. Okay? I'm not joking. Uh, and they, they've manifested heartbreak and defeat damn they also broke your heart i feel like they broke your heart with the thing that they did and that was their goal or the person that they they were i feel like they were working with somebody this definitely feels like a masculine that got bamboozled by some kind of karmic or or they were a karmic masculine to begin with and they tried to and they were some kind of scammers trying to scam you out of your abundance and so, honey you played me you tried you played yourself Try to play me, you play yourself. You try to play the divine, you play yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Where are you trying to compete where you don't compare? You try to have this like sneaky, sneaky ass energy based on a lie. Honey, all you're manifesting into yourself is imbalance. It's a lack of love. That's all being taken away from you. Somebody manifested somebody into that. Definitely y'all check out that scammers being scammed. Because somebody manifested somebody coming into their life with that sword to stab them in the back. And all it did. Somebody from their past. I just saw that six of cups. Yeah. Somebody from their past came back into their life. Turned out they scammed the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. That's all they had for them. All they did was slow them down. Times a hundred I just heard. Oh my god. Ooh, change of destiny. This, pers this person... This person changed their, their whole fucking destiny. That's how it happens, though. You get presented with karmic choices. You have free will, right? So the choice gets handed to you, right? On one side is doing what you know is right. And on one side is taking advantage and taking away. And this person chose to take advantage and take away. Well, now you're dealing with the karma of that. You made this choice and you damn sure did it to the wrong one this time. Huh? You just manifested all kind of imbalance, right? What did I say? There was choices on each side, and this person chose wrong. Period. Mm -hmm. And that's all they chose, honey. To take away. Look at that. Look how that's falling. The two of two of wands, their future being taken away. Can't see. Clouded. Don't see their future and their destiny anymore. Whatever love or whatever they were supposed to have is being taken away from them now. Here. What is that? The six of wands, their victory, and the six, honey, and the six of pentacles. 66 is about finding like balance and shit in your life too i mean that's gone is it yes mm-hmm because of lies because of lies that they told they told some bad lies bro look and they were holding on to that sword holding on to that sword 
What was this lie that they told Spirit? What was the lie? Mm hmm. They emotionally manipulated somebody. I feel like they told people or they told somebody that you were a king, a queen of cups in reverse. The lie was she's a liar. She's emotionally manipulative. She she don't love you. She don't care about you. It ain't real. There's nothing real about this person. They're a liar. Well, honey, the proof is in the pudding, okay? And you being in this lovely queen, queen of wands, queen, uh, queen, honey, you getting in your empress mode. Yeah, this person was trying to compete. This, try, this person was trying to put you in competition. This person was trying to, like, plot and scheme on you. Who was this person, spirit? Yes, I know there was a person plotting and scheming. That five of swords, Oh. Who was this person plotting and scheming and doing all this? Somebody in somebody putting you in a third party situation or somebody that had some kind of third party situation going on. Mm. I just saw the moon. This person could be hidden to you. It might not be time for to, for this person to be completely revealed to you yet. An empress. An empress did this? No, you're the empress. Yeah, spirit saying, just sit back and relax. All will be revealed to you. The empress sits back. The empress doesn't go out there, right? They don't get, right? That's an imbalance in your feminine energy. Just sit back and let it be revealed to you in time. Sit back and let the truth come to you. That's what an empress does. An empress sits back and lets her abundance come, or lets their abundance come to them. Lets the truth come to them. Lets it be revealed. They are surrendered and they understand that divine timing is at play. It will be all will be revealed to you when it is supposed to. I just heard the spirit say some of y'all think y'all know who this energy is. It's it's gonna surprise you. It's not who you think. It is not who you think. I just heard Virgo for some of y'all. It's a Virgo, or for some of y'all, it's somebody that's been like isolated away from you. And I say that because Virgo makes me think of the Hermit card. All right. Well, what's some advice? What's some advice for the collective? Let's get some advice for the collective, okay? I saw enlightenment. You're definitely going through an enlightenment. Divine blessing. This rejection. This this person being kept away from you was a divine blessing. So please see that. Oh, something just flipped, but I don't know what it was. Uh, new. I see new moon and full moon and let go of the past are all are all flipped upside down. So. There's some kind of cycle here. And it's like, this spirit's like, this is a cycle that you need to let go of. Yeah, it was a soul contracted, soul contracted cycle that you need to let go of. Where did that new moon go? I'm going to turn everything. Sorry, you guys. I just want to do this so I can see, I can tell more easily what's actually like flipping upside down. Somebody was being taught a karmic lesson. Yeah. So just see just see this for the karmic lesson that it was. I don't think that that magician card is not supposed to be in here, but you're 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 manifesting. You're learning with this pupil card right here. Definitely new moon. The beginning and the ending and the beginning of a new cycle. Draw from the power of the void. You use this time to recharge and ground yourself. Endless new possibilities. Exactly. And we're just coming off the new moon. So definitely there could be a big healing cycle in between this new moon and this full moon. Okay. The completion. Draw from the power of the climax. Go bathe in the light and embrace the power of the night. Give back in gratitude. Absolutely. And let go of the past. Release old energies that are keeping your mind stuck in the past. Exactly. Learn from karma. Learn from your karma and live in the now. Exactly. Let go of the past. Learn from these karmic lessons that you dealt with in the past and move on. 
towers, exactly. These towers happen for a reason, okay? All this tower moments is happening for a reason to reveal the truth of what's really happening here. True love, okay? Spe <laughs> Spirit is taking away all necessary things from your life. Let the towers fall to rebuild your foundation. Exactly. This person, this person is also going through these towers to try to help them learn and become a better and become a better person. What else? What other what other advice do you have for these people? Thank you, Spirit. Look. Twin flame and life's purpose. Okay. You are discovering your life's true purpose. You are fulfilling your contracts and healing your traumas. Keep your head up. The path, this path takes time. Exactly. You are discovering through all these traumas, through all these past past karmic relationships and things like that they've been through you are discovering your life's purpose okay and your life's purpose has to do with you being a twin flame so some, for some of you you're a twin flame out there okay soul completion and intense connection let let the energy flow don't hold on too tight or too loosely exactly i'm just hearing like healing like concentrate on your healing concentrate on healing yourself and drawing in concentrate on the positive on the positive don't concentrate on all the karmic issues and, and stuff that you've had in the past concentrate exactly thank you spirit <sighs> healing karmic cycle you guys are about to enter a new healing karmic cycle okay you're being taught lessons but in a really nice way it's like when you meet that brand new friend that teach you know that's teaching you all kind of lessons that teaching you how to grow and learn and discover yourself and all of those things like yeah so definitely Karmic lessons are teaching you. You need to heal heal past karmic cycles. Energy needs to be cleared. Focus on healing yourself to bring in new positive energy. Exactly. Beautiful. Yeah. Some of you need to spend some time in the in the 5D. Like it's a meditate, some meditations, okay? To help still, like I was talking about earlier, to still your mind. Yeah. You're an empath. Yeah. Some of you need to do some shadow work. There's just some shadow work here that you're going to do. I feel like somebody is coming into your life to help you with that shadow, the, with the next part of your shadow work. Yeah. You are feeling this person's emotions and they are feeling yours. Keep your emotions positive. Exactly. Shadow work. Stare deeply into the mirror. Climb deep inside. Say hello to your shadow self. Accept the, pa the path. The parts of yourself you cannot change and release. See the dark cannot exist without the light. Exactly. So there is shadow side. There is a shadow. Everybody has a shadow side and it has have unconditional love for yourself. Okay. A lot of times we can get caught up on the fact that, oh, this is a journey about love and light. And it's also a journey about our shadow side as well. And our shadow side also makes us part of who we are. It's just it's, everything in this universe is about balance, about the light and the dark, okay? Everybody has it inside of them, and it's about, about finding a balance between the two of them without rejecting or, you know, only concentrating on one part of yourself, right? Is there anything outside of this deck that you want to talk about? One or two more? Okay. Pull it whenever you're ready. I keep saying soul tribe. So you could be meeting a member of your soul tribe. Yeah, 3D. So definitely uh, there's going to be a divine blessing that's coming in. I think it's going to be a member of your soul tribe. Healing yourself. Oh, yay. Exactly. Give yourself a break. Healing takes time and energy. Don't push yourself to heal before you're ready. Exactly. Everything's happening in divine timing, Empress. Get in your Empress mode and, and understand that everything is being revealed to you in divine time exactly when you're supposed to, exactly how you're supposed to, okay? Okay, definitely. True love. <sighs> Yeah, I, I, there's some kind of true love here. And you guys, true love can come in the form of friendship. They can come in the form of relationships, of, you know, of children, of partners, of all, you know, jobs, all different kind of stuff. Discovering true love for yourself, okay? Right? Like getting this higher enlightenment, okay? Enlightenment, you're being guided through messages, signs, and dreams. Listen carefully. And the number 52 is really standing out to me. Okay, so I'm going to pull some romance angels and we're going to end this. Okay, you guys need to release your ex because you guys have a new love coming in, right? True love, a true love, new love. Beautiful. Okay, that's so beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. True love. What did I just say? True love, new love. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Absolutely. 
<laughs> getting to know each other. You're going to spend some time getting to know this. this. And, and for some of you, it's just going to be understanding and understanding and loving yourself unconditionally. Okay? Absolutely. And that's so important. It's so important to love yourself first. And then you can get like a really good soul, like soulmate interactions in your life, you guys. And it doesn't always have to be about finding that partner, okay? Yes, it's about freeing yourself, okay? It's about freeing yourself from old thought processes or old ways that you were that you might have been blaming yourself for past relationships or, you know, ways that, yeah, maybe you were acting some karmic ways in your past, okay? We all have acted karmic way. I have. OK, I'm not going to sit up here and talk and, you know, four, 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 four down on the clock. Right. I'm not going to sit up here and talk about, oh, I'm a divine empress and I'm up here and I'm, and you got. No, I have done tons of fuck shit in my life. I have made karmic choices in my life, but I'm trying to make up for them now. And I'm trying to let go of the guilt that comes from the awakening of, realiz of realizing I need to free myself from that. OK, and you guys need to do the same. OK. You know, you weren't stupid because you had karmic relationships in the past. You weren't stupid because you trusted these people that were just trying to trick you. Okay? Learn your lessons. Okay? You might have been ignorant. You might have not been making the best choices for yourself. But you don't have to hold that guilt and pain over yourself for your whole entire life. And you don't have to hold hatred or disdain or dislike of them. Right? You can learn from these things and forgive and move on. Okay? that's that's how okay okay yeah you might have you might have been learning from deception okay but we learn from pain we learn from pain and you let go of it that's the most important part exactly okay you deserve love understand you deserve love okay What's this? Free yourself. Free yourself because understand you deserve love. Okay? You're keeping yourself trapped in this cage. You don't have to be. Okay? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay? So keep an open mind about, about who this person is. Okay? Right? What did I just say? Right? The, your soulmates come in many, many forms, you guys, okay? It doesn't always have to be when somebody says, oh, a soulmate's entering your life. That does not mean, oh, this is perfect. I'm finding a brand new romantic relationship. It can be a new best friend. It can be um, just somebody, a new family friend, a new um, like therapist or counselor, just somebody who is supposed to come into your life and is supposed to teach you really valuable lessons, okay? But this is going to be a person that instead of hurting you and teaching you lessons, this person's going to be helping you, Okay? Yeah, you've made karmic choices in, in your past, okay? But you don't always have to be trapped in that state. Exactly. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay? So this person could be coming into your life closer to like the holiday season. I know that we're coming into like the fall season right now from the time I'm filming this. So you might come into contact with this person within the next few months. Or, you know, spirits are telling you to enter the state of bliss. Allow yourself to feel this, you know, here. Be sitting here. Yeah, you're spending some time getting to know each other. But spend some time loving yourself first, okay? Like I said, okay? Your, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? Allow somebody, to, allow some, give some people the time to allow them to show you who they truly are, okay? Keep this open mind about who this person could be, okay? And what form they're going to come into your life, okay? Soulmates can even be like pets and or children. It can be so many different things, okay? So keep an open mind about it because whoever this person is, you're not going to regret letting them come into your life and teach them the lessons that they're going to teach you, Okay? Yeah. And look at these people here on this gondola, right? And they're being led. These two people are here and they're being led by this angel, by spirit. Okay. I don't know where I just got that you might, met this, did might meet this person at night. And as soon as I said that, very, very soon came in. Okay. And look, children. You might meet this person through children. You might meet this person. This person might work with children. They might, might be around children. They might have children. You might meet this person through their children. Um, they could be dealing, um, this person could be helping you deal with like childhood wounds with this codependency right here on the back. Okay. I just heard therapist again. So yeah. 
I was keeping helper, helper. Yes, and look, look what flew out. Give this, give this relationship a chance, okay? You might learn that you might be the type of person that's like, oh no, I don't date people that have kids or something like that. But the but spirit saying, give this relationship a chance. You don't know. Keep an open mind about who this person is and the form that they're gonna come to you in, okay? Because you're not gonna see it coming. It's gonna be unexpected. I'm hearing that you're going to have a very brief interaction with this person, with this soul, with this new soulmate, this soul tribe member that's going to come in. And then this person is just going to linger. And you're going to find out that once you meet this person, you're going to come in contact with them again and again and again. Like happenstance is going to start bringing you two together. True love. Wow. Yeah. Getting to know each other. True love. Would love yourself first. Make sure you're concentrating on yourself, though. What else do you want to say about this spirit? Release your ex, you guys. Release this old past energy, okay? If you guys are still holding on to energy from the past, let it go. This is a new person, okay? You're codependent on that, okay? Release this ex, this, this codependency energy from your ex, okay? That's what's going to be calling in. That's what's calling in the soulmate. You guys are releasing this ex, releasing this old, outdated energy and old, outdated thought processes. You guys are opening up your minds and allowing yourself to really see who this person could possibly be and what their role is supposed to be in your life. And that's calling in the soulmate into you, okay? Yes, look, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play, okay? And I just saw past life relationship too. Yeah, let go of your control issues, okay? Yeah, logo, let go of any kind of control issues as to how this person is supposed to look or how they're supposed to act or what background they're supposed to come from or how you're supposed to meet them. You know, let go, let go of all of that and just allow, sit back, get in your empress mode and just allow this to happen, okay? Really rest at, at ease in that really good feminine energy, okay? Spend some time just taking care of yourself. Make the effort, exactly what I just say, right? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. Do you want to say? Yeah, religious factors. So religious factors could be paying could be playing a role in this. Okay. I feel like you're gonna have no matter what it is, this person is gonna make you feel very passionate. Whether that's ro like actual romance passion, like physical passion or romantic passion, or if it's just this person is gonna inspire you to be a lot more passionate about yourself, about making making the effort, taking care of yourself. This person is gonna make you have a lot more passion about relieving these codependencies in your life. Okay, and it's gonna give you that get up and go that you need. That you're just like, yeah, yeah. I need to do this. I got to get I got to get myself together. I got to get my life together. I got to stop lingering on old past. I got to let go of this stuff from the past. I got to let go of all these tricksters and how, you know, I feel like you feel kind of foolish, right? Because of the way that you've handled your situation or your life or some things, how you've handled some things in the past. And I feel like you need to let go of that, okay? This this journey is about learning how to love yourself truly for all your mistakes, for all your faults, you know, for accepting the things that you can, you know, accepting the things that you can't change, right? You can't change how you behaved in the past, but you can change how you're act, how you feel about your present self now and how you behave in the future. That's all you can do, okay, is live in this present moment and hope the best for the future instead of concentrating on the negative things that happened in the past. Yeah, let go of your control issues. Right, that's that five of swords. That's that five. Oh, yeah, that king of cups. Trust, exactly. Right, I talked about that, right? That there was that five of swords, seven of swords energy that was tied into that king of cups because they had a hard time trusting and just allowing situations to happen. Yeah, okay, for sure, trust. Yes, thank you, spirit, and learning and forgiving. Okay, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Let go. Okay, let go of what happened to you in the past. Let go of failed relationships in the past. Let go of ways that you disappointed yourself or your family or your friends or other things like that. Right. And I know I can feel it in my heart chakra. It's so heavy for you guys. And I know that it's really heavy to let go of those things. Okay, that's something I'm struggling with myself, but it's so important. Okay, you build self-esteem by doing esteemable acts. An esteemable acts is like taking care of yourself, being there for yourself now, being there for your friends and family now, putting up proper boundaries and allowing between people who take too much from you, 
right? Saying no when you need to say no. If you need to stay home and you need to take care of yourself, say no. If, but if, or if you need to be there for people, if you say, y'all yeah, be there for you and you always end up backing out or not being there for people, be there for people. Find the balance in yourself, okay? And forgive yourself from the past, you guys. And I know it's, it's way easier said than done, but it's worth it, okay? Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level. Yeah, I'd say because you're coming into contact with some kind of soulmate member for here. For here. Soul tribe member, for sure. Heart to heart conversations, you're going to be having a lot of like open heart to heart conversations with this person. What else do you want to say about this person? Yeah, exactly. You're going to understand. This person is going to let you understand that it's safe for you to love now. It is safe for you to love. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Because you're going to be, you're in separation from this person right now because you're still releasing this ex, this old energy and releasing your codependency. Okay. You're doing it. You are doing it. It's safe for you to love. Give this relationship a chance. This is a past life relationship, definitely. You have known each other before, definitely. If this person is a member of your soul tribe, you've lived many lifetimes with this person. Exactly. Calling in your soulmate. Everything that you're doing, releasing this ex and healing from this codependency, just like I said, called came out again. You're healing from the, you're healing and calling in this soulmate, okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring the two of you together. Make the effort. Okay, exactly. You need to make the effort healing these family issues, okay? Healing the things that you've gone through in the past, past traumas. Free yourself, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, absolutely. And sometimes that's forgiving yourself for things that you learned in your childhood, for things that were put onto you, things, you know, ways that you um, handled yourself that you're noticing now. Oh, well, I picked this up from my parents or I picked this up from the way that I was raised. Okay. You got to let go of that. You got to understand that you're, you're an adult now, or you, you can take, you can take the res adult responsibility of saying, yeah, that might've happened to me in my childhood or yeah, I might've been taught to only be this way, but now I, I need to take responsibility for the actions and the karma that I'm putting on myself and on other people. Right. And then once you allow that accountability to fall on yourself, right, then heal and forgive yourself. You can't just stay in that holding the accountability like I've done this, I've done this, I've ruined this. Like it's, you know, you have to let go of it and say, OK, I might have fucked up in the past, but I can't keep just like stabbing myself again and again and again and telling myself I'm always going to fuck up. Or I'm always a fuck up. Or I'm never going to get it right. Right. You have to let go of that. And I'm sorry, my cat just like jumped over here and like bumped into my camera. No kidding. OK, you got to let go. Yeah, let's breathe together. Come on. Can I breathe in real deep and just feel that love and light energy coming into you, right? And just, but I'm releasing all the old negative stuff that doesn't serve me. Get rid of it. I'm breathing in love and light energy from the universe. And I'm releasing all things that don't serve me. Okay? Try that easy breathing meditation, you guys. Okay? Just do that. Anytime you feel yourself overwhelmed or you feel these negative thoughts coming into your head, stop yourself. Stop in that moment right there and just take those breaths. You don't even have to say it out loud. You can just say it in your mind. I'm breathing in love and light and I'm releasing all these things that don't serve me. I'm releasing the fear. I'm releasing the anxiety. I'm releasing the, the hatred. I, I'm And I'm breathing in, right? I'm breathing in love and light and forgiveness and learning and enlightenment. And I'm letting go of all the rest of it. Because it does not serve me. Goodbye. Just like that. And you'd be surprised. You might be like, is that really going to help me feel better? You'd be surprised if you really start setting that intention every day. And that can be as easy as it is, right? You guys can set intentions just that easy, right? Okay, I'm going to end this before I end it. And, and make sure you guys, if you guys are saging, make sure you have a window open so that so that this energy has a place to go. Okay. 
Oh, please don't burn. <laughs> So I'm going to do some energy cleansing with you guys and then we're going to end this. And I'm just thinking in my mind, I'm releasing and releasing and letting go and cleansing. Ooh, that feels so much better, you guys. Definitely. Okay. It's not, it's not ever going to hurt. You know, and you guys, you know, sage cleansing is just what works for me. You guys. Find, do your research, find out what really works for you, find out what really helps you feel better and do that, okay? Always do your own research and like I said, you listen to your own intuition. You know, you don't have to follow somebody just because they say, just because they say to do something, okay? And of course, all this, you know, advice, it's just my opinion, right? It's just my opinion. It's just, you know, like I know from personal experience that letting go of all of these things has made me feel tremendously better. It's made me love myself in amazing amounts, you know? So, um... And I just want to spread that love and light to other people, you know, and I, but I can only do it in the way that I know. So again, it's just my opinion, right? I, and, and I am no means, by no means a professional or anything like that, you know, um, I'm just me, but I hope, you know, for me, that's good enough. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And again, thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for going on this journey with me. I really hope that I'm helping you, at least making you feel better, or giving you some kind of clarity, or at least inspiring you to go inside and find your own clarity, okay? Always, 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 always find your own clarity within yourself, right? Learn how to trust yourself and you trust yourself by cleansing out your old energy, by letting go, by setting the intention that I am improving, I am learning, I, you know, and you don't have to say I'm improving because I'm shit now. You're not, right? You might have made mistakes in the past, but you can always release and let go, okay? And whoever these people were to work on forgiving them, okay? Whatever these people did, whatever it was, work on forgiving them, okay? Because holding on to that anger towards these people, it just weighs you down, okay? And understand, we say this all the time on the channel, just because you forgive somebody does not mean that you have to accept their presence in your life, okay? For some of you, you will be able to accept the presence in your life, you know? And sometimes you'll just need a separation from these people for a while while you set up boundaries and find yourself. And then sometimes you'll be separated from these people for the rest of your life, you know? But it is what it is. Okay? Spirit is taking away things from you that do not serve you. Let them go. Okay? Because they will be replaced by, uh, by something that actually matches your energy much better because you're healing and moving on. <laughs> okay? So... I'm so proud of you guys for all the work that you're doing. I feel the work. I feel the energy changing. I feel you issuing in new ways of being into your life. And I'm so proud of you guys. You know, keep going. Keep sitting in the stillness in yourself and allowing yourself to, you know, to get these messages from spirit, okay? And know that you guys are being hella, hella, hella protected, okay? And be thankful. Be giving gratitude and be thankful, you know? At the end of the day, say a prayer every day. You know, or if that doesn't drive with you, just be like, hey, thanks, universe, for giving me the opportunity to be better. Just that. Even just that. Thank you for giving me the enlightenment that I need to know that my life can improve. Period. <laughs> All right. And watch. Watch how much your life does change. OK, even if it's just because you think of yourself in a, in a better way, in a much lighter light and a much more loving light. OK, and that that's the that's the step. That's the one step at a time every day and see how much more you are inspired to change a lot of other parts of your life and see things a lot more different, see people a lot more different in your life. It's a beautiful thing, you guys. OK, 
All right. Thank you. Like I said, again, thank you so much, so much, so much to all my new subscribers. I really hope that you guys are really enjoying my content. I'll keep producing it. And I'll keep being here for you guys and, and improving myself. And I can't wait to see who the, the person, the people that were going to be on the other side of this. Okay, you guys. So let's just keep going. Let's keep doing it and keep going forward and believing and loving ourselves. Okay. And, um, so if you are uh, unsubscribed, think about subscribing if you enjoyed the content or liking or sharing it with somebody that you feel like it might help. If this is not your story, maybe it's somebody that you know. Um, think about sharing it with them if you feel like this, com this, this content would really help them. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. Either way, if you are a returning subscriber, hello, lovely. Thank you so much for being here. And either way, whether you subscribe, whether you don't subscribe, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the view. Thank you for the content. Thank you for the interaction. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful to your guides for getting for leading you here. I'm so grateful for the algorithm or whoever it was that led you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here for another video and I will catch you guys next time. Okay. Love and light. Bye.